Welcome everybody to Fruit Up with Bobby Smith. I appreciate everybody for subscribing. I appreciate everybody for joining. And uh, you know, it's been a brilliant journey. Fruit Up. So we got a very, very special, very special guest today. Um, this guy right here, um, I actually met him online on Facebook. Um, we did a washout, watermelon washout challenge together. Um, previous to that, though, you was in my Facebook group, and that's how we met. And then we did the washout challenge together. He um, provided a lot, a lot, a lot of great uh, content inside the group, a lot of support. And uh, it was a real good energy inside there that I just, you know, I marveled at your success, man, and where you came from. And this is going to be a beautiful opportunity to get your story out there. This is my guy here, Lawrence Richardson. Man, how you doing today? Man, doing great, brother. How you doing? I'm doing excellent, man. Glad, glad, glad to have you. Um, a lot of people probably don't know you. Probably, uh, yeah. you know what I'm saying, wondering why is Lawrence Richardson on the Fruit Up with Bobby Smith channel? But yeah. we're going to get it in and start off by just uh, telling the people who you are, give a little bit about your background and anything you want us to know starting off. Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, first off, thank you so much for having me on your channel. Look Indeed. forward to giving you my testimony of basically how the plant-based lifestyle and fitness has changed my life. So most of my life, I've had ups and downs regarding health, uh, struggled with sleep apnea, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and type 2 diabetes. Um, growing up, I ate the standard American diet, which contributes to my unhealthy lifestyle. In my 30s, my doctor made me aware I had type 2 diabetes and high cholesterol and high blood pressure. So I decided to actually do a 60-day juice fast. So based on a YouTube video, I was inspired by so I basically made it for 55 days. I lost 50 pounds total, uh, which was pretty amazing. Uh, I felt amazing after the juice fast was complete. And uh, after the juice fast, I incorporated primarily um, raw fruits and vegetables. Um, about a year later, I decided um, to get into bodybuilding based on the influence of some of my friends. So for four years, um, I basically trained, competed in bodybuilding competitions. But while doing that, I veered off from eating raw fruits and vegetables and started eating meat again. Mm -hmm. um, so basically I kind of struggled. Well, I had success in bodybuilding because I lost weight. Um, I was somewhat healthy, but I think it gave me a, a food addiction where, because bodybuilding was so restrictive, I started to binge on junk food and unhealthy foods, um, such as some of the sad American diet foods. Mm -hmm. um, and so after bodybuilding, I decided to quit just because I was having a lot of ups and downs with the, the nutrition of it. So after bodybuilding, I was, I gained a bunch of weight up to about 315 plus pounds. I stopped working out. I was depressed and I wasn't feeling very good about myself. Fast forward a little bit. Um, at the age of 40, I went to get a physical from my doctor and they told me that uh, my blood pressure, high cholesterol and blood sugars were way off the charts. And they basically said, you need to do a plant-based diet and take these three medications. So basically over the last 10 months, I've taken the medications, I've fully adopted a plant-based lifestyle, and I've really thrived off of it. I've lost 50 plus pounds. Um, I have great mental clarity. Um, you know, I'm not depressed anymore. And I feel like uh, I'm a lot better off as a result of it. Beautiful, beautiful. Man, that's impressive. So with your experience with bodybuilding, did, did, would, did how, how did that affect your, from transitioning from raw fruits and vegetables to going into that, how did that affect you, you know what I'm saying, with the way you were eating? Sure, sure. So from just eating the raw fruits and vegetables, I was doing it very intuitively. What I was doing, the bodybuilding, I had a coach, and he was basically saying, this is what you're going to eat. It was very restrictive to the same meals every day. So for nine months straight, I'd basically eat the same thing. Um, I would get the same results as far as losing weight, but I didn't really have a lot of energy. I felt like the nutrients I was eating um, wasn't didn't provide me all the nutrients I needed to feel good. And then in addition to that, I was, I was working out a lot. And so I, kind of, I looked like an action figure. I looked good, but I didn't feel good on the primarily a, a meat diet. And so I think one of the positives of the, the plant-based diet was I felt a lot better. I felt more energized versus when I was competing and eating basically um, meat, I didn't feel as energized. So I think that was the difference for me. Yeah, definitely. That's a that's a crazy transition from going into fruit eating straight to bodybuilding. And, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I heard you say that you said your doctor 
put you on a plant-based diet or recommended a plant-based diet. That's not really something you hear a lot of. You go Great. to like a special kind of doctor or something, or how did, how did that happen? Or is that just something Great. that, what, what, how yeah. was going on with that? I think that's by coincidence. Um, you know, my, my doctor, she's from an Asian background. And so she also incorporates a, a plant-based diet, plant-based diet lifestyle herself. And I think she knew based on her experience that a plant-based uh, lifestyle would reduce my blood sugars, uh, basically eliminate my cholesterol and my high blood pressure. So I think she advised on it based on her experience with it herself and her background as a doctor. Mm, yeah, that's dope. You usually don't hear a doctor, you know what I'm saying? I recommend no plant-based diet. So Agreed. with the medications though, is it, are you, how are you doing with the medications that they put you on? Are yeah, you, so what's the goal with taking those? So the goal from day one was I told her I, I want to eliminate these um, prescriptions um, over time. So I'm going to follow this, this lifestyle. I'm going to work out. And the goal is to get my numbers down to a healthy range so I can eliminate all these prescriptions. So I actually had a appointment about a week ago and we looked at my blood work and it essentially was perfect. Um, she said, look, you can eliminate all your medications because you're controlling this, your, your health with your lifestyle. So I was able to get rid of metformin and, and two other supplements uh, specific to cholesterol and high blood pressure. So that was a blessing that um, essentially the, the food I was eating turned into my medicine and I was able to eliminate the prescriptions based on my lifestyle. So, man, that's crazy. That's, yeah, for sure. And that's what we do it for, man. You know, that I'm like, and that's, I'm glad you said that. That's a perfect example because a lot of people don't realize how important, even, even if you take a medication, you can still implement these changes and eventually just get off your medication. And that's exactly. the total goal. Congratulations to you on that, family. Thank so, you so much. With your workout routine, so do you still work out strenuously or how get it? Because that's one thing I noticed about your posts on Facebook. You know your reels and stuff. You're working out a lot. You showing you showing the muscles out. What's a uh, a normal routine for Lawrence, and, and how important is exercising with eating a plant based diet? Sure, sure. So I work out about well, six days a week, and so it's a combination of cardio and strength training. On each day, I'm hitting a different body part basically tearing it down and rebuilding it up. And my, my cardio, it consists of either sprint intervals or long distance runs because I'm preparing for a half marathon. So like, for example, on a Monday, I might go in there, hit some chest and, and biceps. It's seven different exercises um, for about 12 to 15 reps for four different sets. So it's a long, grueling workout, but um, that's kind of the workouts I'm used to in the past. So I'm basically carrying over some bodybuilding workouts into my plant-based lifestyle. And one of my goals is to kind of prove that you can, on a plant-based lifestyle, you can retain muscle. And so I'm doing a really good job at that. I kind of have my meals planned out, um, a good variety so that I'm able to get the nutrients I need and build the physique I can under the workouts I'm doing. Mm, I'm glad you said that too. I've got a couple of questions when it comes to that muscle building. But first, how are you able to keep muscle and work out like that what kind of foods specifically are you putting into your meal plans absolutely so i ate a, a host of plant-based options such as chickpeas lentils organic plant-based protein powders in addition i also get a lot of my protein from leafy greens such as kale spinach um, i eat quinoa which is a seed that also has uh, protein in it and it's a good carbohydrate so on an everyday basis, I eat about five meals a day and I divide uh, each meal kind of equivalently with um, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. So I'd say my first meal of the day is a fruit smoothie with organic plant-based powder. Uh, I'll follow, my second meal is the same thing. And then my next three meals is basically a big bowl of kale, about hundred grams of kale, mixed with about a cup of quinoa and lentils or chickpeas. And so I eat about three of those a day. And that, that keeps me fueled, energized, and it allows me to keep my muscle um, based on the, the nutrient uh, profile of all those meals I'm eating. So let me ask you this. So from coming from eating the sad diet and, and with the bodybuilding lifestyle, having to transition, how easy or difficult is it to eat the way you just described that you eat it a day? Mm. You know, 
it's not that difficult to me. Honestly, the reason why a lot of the sad American diet foods are addictive. It has a lot of salt and oils into it. So when I jumped into the plant-based lifestyle, I, I eliminated those all completely. I believe salt and the oils uh, make you hungrier than what you really are and trick you into eating more. So the foods I'm eating now, I really enjoy. They're satiating, uh, they're filling, they taste great. Um, but it really hasn't been that challenging, honestly, because I also have a strong why. You know, my strong why is longevity, health, taking care of my family, and I also have respect for myself and love for myself now. So the goal is to really uh, take care of myself and to eliminate anything that will uh, not allow me to make progress with health and fitness moving forward. So it hasn't been difficult primarily because my why is super strong and just because I'm enjoying some of the foods I'm incorporating. I think when you enjoy what you're eating, it goes a long way to having success as well. That's a fact. That's a fact. And to hear you mention family, um, uh, talk about your family a little bit. Uh, do you incorporate this with the entire family? Uh, they, they enjoy eating the same way. Uh, how many kids you got? Let's talk about the family. A little yeah, bit. Absolutely. So my family, they've adopted some of my habits. They're not fully plant-based, but I've definitely uh, been a huge inspiration to them. I have uh, two kids, um, one's four, one's two, and my wife, she's she's adopting the plant-based lifestyle as well. I actually have been a 30-day challenge recently, and she she's in it. She's uh, motivated. She's engaged. She's working out, and she's eating healthy, so that's a huge blessing. But my kids, they love watermelon. They love all the fruit dad eats. They, they're also drinking my um, smoothie in the morning when I'm preparing that, so <laughs> they love that lifestyle, man. Facts, facts. And then, you know, I had, I just got my son and I've been struggling because his eating habits are just so poor. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So what yeah, happens yeah. is I noticed that it kind of puts a strain on the relationship trying to get him to transition to this. So mm -hmm. I've been really monitor it and really like slow pace it. So yeah, yeah it's like you got to make it fun for him. You know what I mean? And it's mm -hmm. like, it's hard at that age because he's nine years old and he's stubborn. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're having a, a somewhat joyous experience with the family doing it, man. So um, yeah. talk about you said you mentioned that you be getting mental. You got a lot more mental clarity. You got a lot more mm -hmm. awareness. Can you talk about some of the things that you experienced like that may have changed from things that you have experienced prior to this? Yeah. So actually being in your watermelon uh, 14 day uh, washout that gave me a lot of mental clarity and it gave me a lot of confidence to believe that I can do whatever I want to in life, whether it's uh, entrepreneurial ventures or um, just take on greater fitness um, responsibilities like run half marathons or even compete in bodybuilding competitions as a vegan. But um, it's really given me more confidence, more clarity of mind, more focus and more determination to basically do anything in life I want to do because I realize if I can change my health, I can change my lifestyle, I can change the direction of my life, I can do anything, and I'm really the one who's in control and the pilot to accomplish that. That's a fact, that's a fact. And you did, you just recently did a 30-day challenge on Facebook, um, mm -hmm. um, kind of basically, kind of like similar to the washout. How did that experience go for you? How did it turn out? Man, it was great. I had about 15 people in involved in it in my private group, and really the rules were drink 60 ounces of water, work out minimum 30 minutes a day and eat plant-based uh, meals only. And also another, some more rules were basically engage in the group, um, post what you're eating, how you're feeling, whether good or bad, because, you know, someone else can be influenced by, you know, the decisions you're making on a daily basis. But if you're thriving, if you're eating well, if you're working out, someone else who isn't doing this great will look at you and be like, man, that guy's doing it. If he can do it, I can do it too. And it also gives myself a chance to look at how everybody's doing and basically cheer them on or give them motivation uh, when I think they need it the most. Um, so the challenge has been outstanding. I've been participating in myself. I'm still making progress. I'm still uh, trying to be the best I can be physically, um, um, mentally, and health-wise. Uh, I feel like challenges can make you grow and develop more as a person. So um, I think the more challenges uh, you put yourself under, the more you're going to grow and develop as a result of it. Indeed, indeed. That's why I challenge myself, you know. Uh, I go on challenges every single month, every single <laughs> month, because yeah. it really helps me build my discipline, help mm. me be a better person. And doing the group challenges help you meet people on the same journey and people who, like, yes. uh, from the washout, 
we still got like three or four people who eat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's that's why I love these challenges, man. Do you plan on doing any more challenges? Yeah, down the road, I'm, I'm thinking about how to orchestrate or organize some other ones that will add value to uh, the users in the group and um, help them level up their commitment to fitness and uh, health. So in the future, I plan on doing some more. Yes. Definitely, definitely. So uh, if you don't mind me asking, what kind of work do you do for a living? Sure. Yes, I work as a, a plumbing engineer and project manager. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm designing plumbing systems for commercial buildings, arenas, hospitals, restaurants, and the like. Um, that involves me getting into a 3D modeling software and drawing where water heaters are and drawing where pipes um, are going to plumbing fixtures. Mm -hmm. so we're sizing pipes, sizing, specifying the material of the pipes, and basically designing a system that the contractor can go in and uh, lay out all the equipment in the building um, mm -hmm. with these, yes. Has the, li have the lifestyle that you live in that you transitioned to helped you at all or made it any difference in what you do for a living? Um, I think it's because I'm more confident now, you know, when I'm going into meetings with clients or if I'm managing a project, I, I think I'm more prepared um, to execute my daily tasks. And I think it's also helped um, my energy levels because I am plant-based and my energy levels are higher. Um, I'm able to be that more, much more efficient at work and that much more productive. Yeah, yeah, it helps with everything, but that's the only reason why I ask that because mm -hmm. I be noticing the difference in my just my day to day activity <laughs> and how my ability to take on tasks. Yes, with, with the lifestyle that I live. So, um, with somebody like me, like uh, you see the journey that I'm living. You see that I eat all fruits. Uh, you probably noticed like all the hula online about building muscle and all fruits is hard to stay with muscle, but I I am intending on building more muscle. What awesome. kind of advice, like, say you were, like, to train me, mm. what advice would you give me to start off so I could start building muscle? Because I don't like to strenuously work out. Is Could I do, like, an easy routine to build muscle? Absolutely. Yes. I think first off is we have to make sure our nutrition's in line. Make sure the what you're eating um, basically supports the, the physical fitness that you're doing. And so once your nutritional profile is in place, then we can kind of build a workout um, regimen for you, whether it be some cardio or strength training. And no, you, you don't need to go to the gym and pick up, you know, all the weights in the world. You could basically work out from home. You could do crunches, you could do sit-ups, pull-ups, jumping jacks. Um, all that is basically like calisthenics and you are getting some resistance training uh, as you're training. So yeah, someone for like you, give you something really basic, full body workout that you could do at home and make sure your nutritional profile is on point because that's going to really aid and assist in your body development. Mm, well, you know, my nutrition will be mostly fruits. You know, I'm, I'm on the yeah. fruits. So that's the thing. I, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to building the muscle on the fruits. Now, next month is an opportunity for me, though, because I'm doing the Fruit Up Till 5 challenge. Yes. And I'll be able to incorporate some greens, some you know, and a couple herbs and stuff into the mm -hmm. into the composition. So that's cool. So, um, Lawrence, what's your total? What would you say your goal is? What, what's your what's your future outlook? Like, what's the yeah. point of all this? Like, yes. So the point of it is really just to be an influence to other people. You know, I've once been three hundred plus pounds, didn't have any hope or uh, direction. And so I basically wanna be a leader in this industry, uh, in the plant-based and fitness industry. I wanna show other people that, hey, if I can do it, you can do it too. And these are some steps to help uh, someone like you who may not have any hope to actually get there. Uh, really, I like to be an entrepreneur, um, let this be my full-time uh, gig moving down the road and continue to learn, continue to add value to um, the people who are interested in this kind of lifestyle. Um, I think the more I learn, the more I develop, the more I can assist the public to help them with their health and, and fitness. So I would say that's probably uh, what I like to see for myself down the road. Mm, mm. You can see it, you can be it. I tell everybody, and you're working on it. So why would somebody come? What what kind of value do you have? What what If you want to help people, you want to assist people, why would somebody come to you sure. to get the help? Absolutely. I think number one, because of my experience, because of my background, you know, I've, I've had my ups and downs, I've had my successes and I have had my downfalls. 
but I've learned from all those. And I think because of my experience, I can, I can pour into someone else, especially on a one, one to one basis. Um, you know, I have a, a heart of a leader and I care for people and I can listen well. And so I would figure out where their pain points are and help them along the way. But in addition to that, if people are looking to uh, build muscle or um, set up a nutritional profile with a plant-based lifestyle, you know, I've done bodybuilding competitions, a personal training background, and uh, I'm well-versed on, you know, nutrition. And so I think someone would come to me um, based off my expertise in uh, plant-based nutrition and uh, my background in bodybuilding. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Hey, you know, you could sh- the work that you actually show is important too, you know. You yes. Can, you know, the, the work looks impressive. So it, more time, nine times out of 10, it is. So uh, what would you say to somebody who is struggling? Like um, somebody who's saying like the plant-based lifestyle might not be for me or they really struggle with it. Mm-hmm. And also, what do you think are the traps of the plant-based lifestyle? If you want to answer both of those. Yeah, yeah so someone who's struggling, I would say primarily remember what your why is. You know, I've been like, I've been in this lifestyle for about 10 months now and every day isn't easy, but when I feel like I'm about to veer off path or I feel like I'm struggling, I remember what that why is. And for my why is longevity health in my family. I think if your, your why is strong enough, you'll, if you, if you make a mistake, you'll get back up the next day and you'll keep traveling down that path and making progress. Um, I know it can be difficult mentally, it can put you in a bad place, but if you just remember your why, that will take you a long way. And then also remember, um, this is this is a marathon, not a race, right. you know. And so, you're not going to get success overnight. It takes it takes it takes consistency. It takes follow through, and it takes execution on an everyday basis. And if you can remember uh, that, if you can be patient and follow the process, you can be successful. It may not be tomorrow, but over time, you're going to see progress as long as you're putting in consistent work. Mm-hmm. And what was the next question? Oh, the next question was what were the traps, but I'm gonna rephrase that. What's like, okay, what do you why do you think people have such a hard time getting into this lifestyle? Because it's obviously the the most beneficial lifestyle. No, I think it could be a number of things. It could be their knowledge. A lot of people don't realize how detrimental the sad American diet is. And so they don't necessarily believe that not eating dairy products or meat is gonna make them feel healthier. So that could be um, a wall in the way they don't believe that if I eat plant-based, it's gonna make me better. Um, Another thing, it might be the people that they're surrounded by. You know, a a lot of times we're influenced by the people we're around or we're similar to the people we're around. And it's not always popular to go out to a restaurant and not eat the steak, potatoes, or whatever else it may be. So it could be the influences in your life that could um, make it hard for you to be successful um, I would say in a situation like that, you may have to change the circle of people around you. You may have to go online and find a community of people that are on the same mission that you are and are like-minded and trying to get healthier and level up. So I would say to help with getting into this lifestyle and being productive, surround yourself with quality people that are on the same mission, know your why, and just never give up. Always keep trying to be the best you can be and basically pursue an excellence in everything that you do. Mm, that's good advice. Good advice. Because it's a struggle, man. It's a struggle for a lot of people out here. And mm. that's why I like to bring people like you on, you know, who come from somewhere else, you know, who come from that place that a lot of people that are in right now, you know what I'm yes. saying? Because that's where I come from. Uh, when you say plant-based, because I know your your mantra is leaf life with lawns, right? Yes. Yeah, that's and I, and I love that. I love that. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because the leaves are the leaves of, of life are important. You feel me? And, yes. you know, what I'm saying? we need them. And but when you say plant based, yes. are you agreeing to what we call plant based out here or are you sticking to the guns of the leaves? only? So plant based for me is basically al- alkaline uh, plant based whole foods. And so what I'm eating is anything that's spinach, kale, uh kale, chickpeas, um, cucumber, all, a lot of fruits, all the whole foods essentially is what uh, plant-based means to me, essentially. So you don't, you don't recommend people eat the plant-based meats or none of the plant-based proteins and all of that? 
junk food. I don't, I don't recommend it. I, I think it's maybe okay for people who are transitioning, but it wouldn't be something I would recommend because a lot of the nutritional profile on that has a lot of sodium, a lot of cholesterols and fats. And those are things we're trying to get away from because we're trying to get healthy quickly and efficiently. And I think those are in moderation, maybe acceptable, but for me, uh, I think we should bypass those all together and stick to whole, whole food plant plants. I think that's going to be, you're going to be the most successful on something like that long-term. Facts. So give me the perfect example of how you would transition a new client from mm. eating, uh, uh, you know, the, the worst way yeah, to, yeah. To, to get it to the point where you and I are today. Wow. Great question. Transition the client, essentially sit down. It, it, I think it would need to be a lot of one-on-one -on -one conversations throughout the, throughout the life of this uh, relationship. And the transitions would be kind of find out what they enjoy eating. Um, because if you don't enjoy, what you, if you don't enjoy what you're eating, then you won't stick to it. Once we find out what they enjoy eating, we'll try to incorporate some of the plant-based um, meals into it that are similar to what they enjoy. Um, then after we get the nutrition in place, we get the, the fitness in place, then on a weekly uh, basis, we'll sit down and have conversations about how they're doing, how they're progressing. And if they need additional support, I'll be there along the way to hold their hand. But uh, I think it's going to take patience. I think it's going to take um, understanding their why and understanding what they like and marry them all together to make sure that they're successful with reaching their goal. Beautiful, beautiful. And, and how important is fruits? Like mm. we, the leaf life is important, but yes. um, what, what's the focus on Lawrence with the fruits and how much do you enjoy it? And what's your favorite fruits? Man, you know, watermelon is probably my favorite. Mm. I'd say it's number one, number two, pineapple. And right now I'm smashing the blueberries and the mm. strawberries. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, fruits are very important. They're, they're rich in vitamins, um, they're good for detoxification, they're good for hydration. So for me, uh, fruits are just as important, if not more important than the leafy greens and uh, the quinoa and the beans and other things I eat as well. Mm, mm, beautiful. Because, I, you know, I focus on the fruits. I definitely want to incorporate more leaves and, you know, the, like you said, the quinoa and stuff into my diet in the future. Mm -hmm. But, yes. I, you know, the fruits give me so much satisfaction and the a level of energy that it creates is what I compare it to anything. Like, fruits yeah. give you so much energy and that energy is how you create joy. You got to have a lot of mm -hmm. energy to be joyous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and that's what I, that's why I'm always in joy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, oh, sir. what you got coming up, Lawrence? You got anything you got uh, specific that you about to start? Anything you want anybody to know? Um, where you headed, what's going on, what's going forward? Yeah, so I'm preparing right now for a half marathon race. The race is in October. I'm on week 10 to 14 of my training, so it's going really well. Um, you know, I think in the, in the future, right now, I'm working on um, eating a certain way. I have my macronutrients set up. I have my my structured workouts. I think in the, in the future, I like to challenge myself with a plant-based lifestyle to maybe do a bodybuilding competition down the road. But, but really, my main focus is to really help the community, uh, help, help my friends and family to, to get healthy and basically be a leader and a mentor to everyone that needs it uh, through my example um, of working hard every day to basically be successful with my health and fitness. And so I post online on my TikTok, my Facebook um, and my private user group of everything I do. And it's really just to show people that this is this is how you do it. Just consistency, dedication. And, um, you know, it's not going to be easy, but I think if you're positive, I think if you have a desire to uh, improve your life, it, it def it's definitely going to happen. Um, but also, it's also a great idea to have a, a great community surrounded by, around you to basically cheer you on and to uh, help you see the finish line. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, and this is the one other question I always ask myself, like, what was, do you remember the one, like, was there one moment in your life where you said, this has to change? This, this is, this is the thing that I have to do. This is the moment because I think I asked that question because I know a lot of people are right there. Did you have a moment like that? 
Absolutely. As soon as you said it, it popped in my mind. <laughs> that moment, I'm sitting in the doctor's office, sitting on the exam table, and she's sharing my blood work with me in my A1C and my glucose levels and my blood pressure and cholesterol were way off the Richter scale. I'm like, look, I'm 40 years old. I have two lovely children and a wife that they rely on me. You know, I want to be a responsible adult. I want to take care of my family to the, the best of my ability. And I also want to respect myself. That was the moment where I knew that, look, no matter what, I, I have to make a change. And I knew at that point that I was going to do the plant-based lifestyle and I was going to go into it head first. And I wasn't going to give up. I wasn't going to make excuses. And so that, that was the moment in my that was the turning point in my life where I knew that I needed to make a change bad. And so I think that's, like I said, that's why my why is so strong now is because I realize that your health is your wealth. I, I realize that without your health, you have nothing, you know, and, you know, I love my family. I want to make sure that they're taken care of. And I, I'm, I'm that the catalyst or the individual who can ensure that they're taken care of. And so I want to be all, all around for a long time. And, you know, that, that's really the, the reason in the moment I knew that I needed to make a change. Ah, that's dope. That's dope. And you know what, man, you so encouraging, so inspiring, so motivating. And, you know, you're really a prime example uh, I could, you, you know, you say family a lot, you know what I'm saying? Family, family, family. And so many people in our community, especially, especially black men need to see examples of men like Lawrence Richardson. And you know what I'm saying? And you inspire me to be a better man. So that's mm -hmm. what drove me to you, you know, just your uh, personality, the way you conduct business, you know what I mean? Just who you are. You know, I, I, I enjoy our relationship. I'm glad that we met, you know what I'm saying? And, it's, it's, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful relationship going forward. So uh, I'm glad to have you here today, man. And I just enjoy your time. I enjoy your story. If you want to tell the people anything else, anything, tell them everything about where yeah. you at, where to find you, what you got going on. And that's it. That you the plug. Hey, well, man, number one, thank you so much for having me on today. Really enjoyed sharing my story of basically how plant-based and fitness has changed my life. Right. If anybody wants to find me, you can find me at Lee live with Lawrence on TikTok, Instagram, and then I have a private Facebook group called Leaf Life with Lawrence as well. Love to have you. You know, it's a good group of people will inspire you and motivate you to change your life. Thanks again, Bobby. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Definitely very inspired. Definitely very inspired. And uh, we're going to have more of these. We're going to have more of these. You know what I'm saying? They're going to keep yeah. dropping. Lawrence is just, you know, either original. That's why I had to bring my brother on, you know, and let him share his story. And everybody watching, just know that when me and Lawrence met, we didn't know each other. We didn't know each other at all. And when I met him in the group, I seen his work ethic. You know what I mean? I seen his work ethic. I see how determined he was. And he was always in there inspiring other people. And that's the, that's the type of energy I'm drawn to. And it just turns out this is a great man. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I definitely appreciate you, brother. We're going to definitely talk again. We're going to talk again after your marathon, man. I want to see how that went for you because I Absolutely. see you working real hard for that. And real good luck with that, brother. And uh, stay healthy, man. Stay who you are and take care of the family, man. I love you. Thank you, brother. Love you too. Yes, sir. Fruit up. Yes, sir.